Hi guys, uh, this is Mr. Tan, and today, you know, we are covering a literature review and critical analysis. So the module learning outcomes, you know, on completion of this model, the student should be able to assess and apply techniques and processes used to investigate an important strategic or organizational issue or problem. Plan and propose a research project you know, critically analyze a business problem using both practitioner and academic material. Module learning outcomes, uh, critically reflect on established literature, evaluate and apply critical management thinking to a contemporary organization issue or problem and collect and critically evaluate data to formulate appropriate conclusions and recommendations. <clears throat> so, you know, at the end of this um, kind of like these slides you should be able to explain what is a literature review. You know, undertake a literature review, understand what is critical analysis and perform critical analysis. So we are doing the literature review and you know what is a literature review? So you know if we think about Hart 1998 page 13 he says a literature review is the selection of available document both published and unpublished on a topic which contain information, ideas, data and evidence written from a particular standpoint to fulfill certain aims or express certain views on the nature of the topic and how it is to be investigated and how the effective evaluation of these documents in relation to the research being proposed. You know, why literature review? You know, why do we do it? To ensure you have a thorough understanding of the topic to identify the potential areas of research, you know, to identify similar work done within the area, uh, to identify knowledge gaps that demand further investigation, to compare previous findings, um, you know, to critique existing findings and suggest further studies. So in terms of a, a sample literature review um, at this website here, keep this on for a second if you see this website then you should be able to see samples okay what you know is not a literature review you know is a just a list of books or bibliography you know list of unconnected critical evaluations of individual documents and then they have to be connected <laughs> it can't just be each of these um, you know papers are separate and independent of each other not connected or you know compared or contrasted in any which way shape or form you know a combination of uh, extracts from documents it's not a selection of quotations used by acceptable phrases in attempt to tell a story you know a set of arranged abstracts brief summary of the research article you know all relevant I uh, items you know you need to look at the research um, and the papers that you're looking at and pick out the information and then to compare this with other research papers as well and to compare contrast critique and to be to be able to come up with your own conclusions as well and your own interpretations in terms of what you think overview of the literature review process so you have kind of like the topic writing and revision you know, which leads to the research and the collection of information, which leads to work with articles and the, and the brain, which also leads back into the writing and revision, you know, um, and, and this leads into, you know, reflection works and back into uh, work with articles and your mind. Here's a code here. If you scan, you know, the, the QR code below and read the article on literature review process, you know, note the key points of the process and, you know, you, this is something for you to do either in a group or you can do it by yourself. So look, scan this barcode here and then read the article on the literature review process. So when we're looking at the literature review chapter, you know, A is introduction, B, you know, the aim of the chapter, define literature review why literature review is important in research, structure of the chapter, you know, conceptualization, you know, definition of terms, stroke concepts, theoretical conceptual models used in a topical area, general review of articles, the subheadings, and then conclusion. 
So, you know, critical evaluation and thinking. What is critical thinking? Critical thinking is the process of analyzing the arguments of others. It means examining the logic of such arguments. It enables people to do more than just repeat knowledge. It creates knowledge, you know, a new point of view. Features of critical think thinking, skepticism, questioning of assumptions of arguments, alternative interpretations, you know, no overdue oversimplification, you know, and no overgeneralizations as well. Okay. So critical evaluation and critical analysis. Critical analysis, you know, is to analyze both the good and the bad. Analysis, the international you know, and plan a collection of information so that information judgments can be made about the worth of something. When we, you know, uh, you know, uh, criticize a piece of work, you know, we ask, what is good about it? You know, why is it good? How can we use it more? And where is it deficient? Why is it deficient? And how could it be improved? So let's look at some examples of critical analysis. So here is one is not a not really good example of critical analysis. Uh, there is conflicting evidence on the ability of students to accurately assess themselves. So this, this is not a good example of <laughs> critical analysis. Um, here's a partially good example of critical analysis. Um, there is conflicting evidence on the ability of students to accurately assess themselves. Lee and um, various authors, 2010, recently evaluated students' self-assessment ability with a sample of over 3,000 uh, first-year students. You know, the the, the uh, correlations indicated weak to moderate accuracy of self-assessment ability. So this is partially good. Uh, an example here of um, good critical evaluation. So here, this one, it says... There is conflicting evidence on the ability of students to accurately assess themselves. A recently evaluated students, you know, uh, self-assessment ability. With a sample of over 3,000 first-year students, the correlations indicated weak to moderate accuracy of self-assessment ability. Cassidy, 2007, in his comparison of student estimated and tutor marks also concluded that was poor level of self-assessment skill in the majority of students. However, Jewel 2010 has found that postgraduate business students had a high accuracy of self-assessing their research proposals. This therefore suggests that there are conflicting evidence as to whether self-assess their skills. Um, an example of critical evaluation, you know, uh, another one says, uh, there are many views on why Queen Elizabeth I did not marry. Richards, 2006, presents a case predicated by on the sustainability of her many suitors, although Shaw, 2004, dismisses this thesis on the basis that Elizabeth, above all else, wanted to present herself as the Virgin Queen, dedicated to England. You know, both of these explanations are challenged by Jones, 2008, who examined numerous documents uh, depleting, you know, Elizabeth as a difficult person unsuited to marriage. However, uh, <laughs> the rest of this explanation is in question due to the biased sample of documents examined, Smith 2009. See, th this is very good because, you know, you're, you are looking at different um, papers written by different authors and their views in terms of what they felt the reason was why you know Queen Elizabeth I didn't marry and it's kind of like comparing the different authors and their views and the reasons and trying to take into consideration you know um, you know a variety of other issues and to try and contextualize what was happening at that time in England so this is again a good example of critical evaluation and this is something that you know you know you should be aiming for you know, you know as we said before it's not about um, taking individual papers and talking about these individual papers independently but rather um, you need to be interlinking these papers comparing and contrasting the different views on a specific area uh, critical analysis uh, research by the European Commission 2002 
It's also shown that the most important factor in pending small to medium enterprises, you know, of all sizes, from going digital is the belief that e-commerce is not applicable to the other type of products or services and a lack of perceived commercial benefit. On the other hand, recent research by Tinic 2015 shows that in their sample of UK SMEs, 72% believe their e-commerce is important in promoting their business and that increased sales remain the main justification for e-commerce adoption. However, it should be noted that early adopters may have done so because they could obtain these benefits and it does not follow that all SMEs will, be, will benefit in the same ways. In addition, this assertion may be due to the survey's focus on e-commerce rather than e-business. Okay, ICT skills gaps um, seem also to be more important um, you know, for small enterprises than for larger and medium ones. So again, here's another example of um, critical analysis. Example three of critical analysis, um, Boniface 2002 describes Africa as having a low level of economic development. Most African countries fall into the least developed category, with only a few having breached you know, the intermediate level of development. In contrast to this, he describes Latin America countries as being as an intermediate stage of development, although tourism in Brazil, for example, accounts for less than 1% of GDP. This ties in with previous discussion in which um, Lumsdam, 2001, um, you know, argued that the extent to which a country benefits from its tourism activity depends on the success you know, of its other industries. Thus, Latin America is notably more developed than Africa, but it can be argued that this may be a result of the possession of more successful industries rather than the higher levels of tourism activity. So you can see how you kind of like bringing in research and the research is all linked together. So you've got to link this critical analysis together from different authors and to see it from different perspectives as well. Okay. So, thank you today from Mr. Tan on a literature review.